All right, guys, so we're going to go over the uh, parts of the box again. Here's the carcass all put together. And once you glue it and sand it, you'll remove all these marks. You can almost make these lines disappear. So if you remember, first we, uh, we cut the back off, okay, and we set that aside. And then we cut the front off in a series of stages. We cut the front part was a thicker one because I'm going to draw a design on this, cut it out, shape it on the belt sander. And then you have the, uh, the backer. Remember the backer broke into two pieces, but we're going to glue that back together. Be just fine. And then you have the carcass with the bottom and the carcass. Okay? So once this is glued together, then you have the back to the drawer and the drawer. Typically what I'll do is I'll probably end up cutting off this top part uh, or shaping it so that it slides in and out of the box real easy. So that'll go in and then that'll go in. So that makes up your box. Back, carcass, bottom, drawer, slide in and out. This is your backer board, fractured backer. And then your top. This is actually the bottom, so right there. Bam! All the pieces you need right there. I can actually uh, glue the back, and then I can glue this part together. So I can glue these parts together, uh, which is the back of the drawer and the sides in the drawer. Now, I'll put a clamp on that, and then I'll glue this section together, which will be the bottom, the carcass, and the back. And then that'll be uh, able to dry up and get ready for some sanding. So let's start with this one. Got three clamps on that, and that should be good to dry. Looks like I got good coverage of the glue. You can see the inside of the box. I got glue inside all the way around. That'll dry up and disappear. I got the uh, corners and bottoms and everything else lined up the best of my ability. See, that's kind of what I'm looking for right here is everything lines up, and you can just see the little crack in there. So. Put the clips back on. Now we're going to focus on the front. Now we have this fracture in the wood here, and we've got some time to mess with it, so uh, I might try to uh, go ahead and break that and we'll glue it back together. That way it'll be a lot stronger. If I can split it apart enough, I'll just add some glue in it. And this is going to be on the back side, so nobody's going to see it, so let me just try to. Get that split open. Put a little glue in there. And we'll sand all this down so that it's nice and flush later on. So I'm going to flex that open and let the glue seep down as deep as possible. That looks good. And I'll take one more clamp. And I'll squeeze the middle right here. See, we don't have very much glue showing on the front side. But it is squeezing through. And uh, that, should, that should dry up nicely. So as long as it didn't uh, warp it, you gotta be careful how much pressure you put on on the clamp. You just want just enough pressure. Just enough pressure where it doesn't doesn't warp it, but, but enough to where it squeezes a little bit of glue. So that should be fine right there. The glue is actually gonna make the wood expand and uh, See how it's nice and even right there? Just enough right there. 
All right, so we're gonna let that dry and wipe away this excess glue. No need in gumming up our sander later. All right, guys, we've had a little bit of time for the glue to dry, so um, <clears throat> let's see what we've got now. Let me adjust my camera angle a little bit. There we go. So we've got our front board now. It's been glued. Uh, there's a, a thick layer of glue in there that's going to make it a lot stronger than it was. Let's test it. Oh yeah, that worked good. We'll clean this up on the uh, on the belt sander a little bit. See what we got here. Take these clamps off. So we've got the box. Looks like the glue's not 100% dry, but that's just where it leaked out a little bit, so that's fine. We're gonna have to clean this up on the uh, belt sander. And that look good. Like I say, this will be the front of the box. Now, here's the the case. And let's see what we got here. Let's take off some clamps. So you can see our box is lined back up. Looks pretty good. The drawer would be very tight right now. It's actually a lip right there where it's catching on, but uh, see the drawer is very tight now. That's because we've compressed it this way, so it's tight. So we're gonna have to sand this drawer in order to get it to uh, get it to loosen up. So we've got a little bit of sanding to do. We we'll sand this, and we'll sand this, and we'll sand the front. Let's go back over to the sander. All right, so we got our box here. This is the shell, the carcass. Um, let me do a little turnaround so you can see all the sides of it. Now, what we need to do is we need to clean up all this glue on here. So we're gonna sand the sides, the top. Uh, we're gonna sand the bottom a little bit. Get rid of all this uh, this extra glue that seeped out. And then we'll we'll make some uh, some sands on the uh, on the uh, the drawer itself to get it in order to slide in and out easily. So we're going to sand the back, the sides. We're going to round the edges all over. It doesn't have to fit in tight. It just has to fit in there because we're going to glue it to the front and it's going to slide in and out easy. <laughs> You can see here we have uh, very faint lines where it was glued back together and even on the bottom you know there's still a few areas where a little bit of glue but not too bad and uh, not perfect but you know it's good doesn't have to be perfect so the drawer test for the drawers if it slides in and out real easy so yeah it's It does, but I like to I like it to be a little bit more free than that. So work a little bit more on this. So this is what I was going for here. If you grab the drawer and pull out on it, I want it to be nice and smooth. When we do our final sanding and uh, we sand some on the inside here and get it a little bit less rough, and then we'll uh, we'll do some fine sanding on this. I think that'll be a good tolerance right there. All right. So now we got the front, and because we've been sanding so much, the front is going to be a little bit proud. So that'll be fine. So when we glue it on, we'll go back over 
and uh, we'll round this edge over a little bit and we'll get it nice and pretty and perfectly lined up. So what I like to do to glue the front is I like to get a piece of uh, paper towel. Pardon me, I've got a little bit of dust in me. And uh, I put this behind the drawer and then I slide the drawer in and that gives me that gives me a little bit of room to work with where I don't glue the whole box shut. I'm going to go ahead and use a scrap piece of wood to, uh, to help uh, glue everything together since the front is so fragile. And once I squeeze it down a little more, I'll make sure it's all properly lined up. So, don't worry about that. I never drop your wood project, by the way. Tip number two. Get the gist of it. Looks like it's in the right position.